Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Creating Writing Warriors. I have a really quick video for you today to show you what some of my grammar paint by numbers look like because I do have a few of those in my store. So today we're gonna look at the fifth grade snowman grammar paint by numbers or color by numbers because you're not actually painting. But um, so we'll take a look at that and then you can kind of apply that knowledge to the other paint by numbers or color by numbers. Uh, that are available on my store. So you can use this for a uh, warm up for writing. You can use this when you're getting closer to testing to refresh the memory about the different parts of speech and what those look like. Or you can use this as a fun holiday or winter activity as you gear up for maybe winter break or maybe you just come back from winter break. So it's pretty, pretty fun, pretty quick, and hopefully your students will uh, be engaged while they're using this. And so let's take a look at what it looks like really quickly. This is just what I used to make the paint by numbers. So I drafted the shape and the colors and decided uh, how many of each I wanted. I knew for fifth grade standards for grammar, they talk about in the writing standards, they talk about adjectives, they talk about prepositions, they talk about uh, the perfect verb tense, they talk about conjunctions, and they talk about interjections. So I wanted to have a product that hit all of those. And so you can kind of see my, my work as I was trying to do this. I wanted to make a decent amount of different options. So you'll see there's 60 total. There's 28 preposition, prepositions, 14 perfect verb tenses, 10 conjunctions, three adjectives, um, because they, they work on adjectives in third and fourth grade. So by this time, it's pretty much just recognizing adjectives and uh, maintaining that definition in their head and five interjections. So that's what I used to design this and I designed all of this on my iPad and then uh, spaced out the different parts of speech to make sure that I had covered everything and I hadn't forgotten anything. And then this is what they will see. This is what you will see, I'm sorry, as um, an answer key. So it will look pretty much just like that, except for it has the actual adjectives and the actual interjections and the actual verb tenses. So that's your answer key that you'll see. And then if you look here, this is what the students will see. I think it's easiest they'll have this without the coloring and they'll have the answer key. And I think it's easier if you print them back to back like I did here because then the students can reference it while they're working. And you'll see that there's uh, for yellow, they want an adjective for brown conjunction for light blue preposition. So, and then blue interjection, which is different than my uh, original draft. So I must have changed that thinking that they needed to work more on their interjections than on their perfect verb tense. And then you'll see white slash, and it's also, it's clear. So it's basically whatever color they want to paint or to color that is going to be the perfect verb tense. So you'll see the definitions below and they can reference those definitions as much as they need to to help them with the product. And so you can see adjective, a word that describes a noun, conjunction, a word used to connect two words, clauses or sentences, preposition, a word used before a noun or noun phrase to show direction, location, or time, interjection, a word or phrase that expresses emotion, meaning, or feeling immediately followed by punctuation, typically exclamation marks. And then the perfect verb tense, a verb form that conveys a completed or finished action. So they have those definitions at their, uh, at their fingertips to use while they're working on this. And then you can see what it looks like if they were to finish it. So for your adjectives, you have cute brown round. Conjunctions, so, nor, and, but. So that's all brown. You see all the interjections that ended up being blue. And then the prepositions, next to long sense, on, by, under, around, at, but, across, past, in, out, among, another about. I don't know if I said that one already. But those within, besides, throughout, during, those are all going to be light blue. And then I chose gray to show the snow, um, the white, the perfect verb tense. And so you see had been, has been, will have been, and has. That's what it looks like. It's really quick, really easy uh, to prep and it is hopefully fun for the students and helps them refresh their memory about the different parts of speech. That's for fifth grade. I also have a third grade option for the snowman. I also have some turkeys for around Thanksgiving. I have uh, some presents for 
also a holiday winter theme and I hope to get some more up in the future. So if you're ever wondering what a grammar paint by number or color by number looks like, that is what it looks like. If you like this video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe so that you can see other videos. If you use this in your this product in your classroom, leave a comment below to tell me how it went, any ideas for new paint by numbers, any uh, constructive feedback, that would be great. If you would like to follow me on social media to see what I'm doing for Teachers Pay Teachers and to see what I'm doing outside of Teachers Pay Teachers, go ahead and click the link tree below and follow me there. There's also a freebie on there for you. Oh, and of course I'll drop the links to the various places where you can get this product down below. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the other videos.